Today we are going to be talking about the importance of a dress and how to feel most feminine while wearing one. Hey, my name is Mackenzie with MRH Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get into the styling session. We're going to first talk about the power of poplin. If you're looking for an inexpensive, more affordable option, I like to call this my power of poplin. I love a good affordable dress, but it can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're shopping online when you're going for something more affordable, what it will actually look like in person. Power of poplin though does take over because with poplin, it's always going to look more expensive than it really is. And it's just gonna fit better, look better all around, always the way to go when you're doing something affordable the power of poplin. Maybe I should just like, maybe I should coin that phrase, I don't know. Let's first get into these options. <sighs> to know me is to know this pink dress. I think I've worn this pink dress so many times. I got it back in 2019, I believe, or 2020. I got this from H&M and you can see here, she's so <laughs> Pink, it's like Pepto-Bismol pink, which in the spirit of being feminine, I think we have to have pink, obviously. Pink with a puff sleeve is literally my go-to always. I will gravitate naturally to something with a puff sleeve. While I am on the shorter side of the spectrum, I love a good maxi or mid-length dress. I think that suits most of everyone much better. Now, we will get into shorter dresses later on. The mid to maxi length is always a good bet for you because no matter what, you're going to be covered. So even if you are wearing this into work or church or whatever the activity is, you will be covered and there's nothing wrong with that. This pink dress, I have styled her in many, many, many ways. I love a good solid poplin dress. Now, I did mention this was from H&M. So to give a little quick shout out out to H&M. They have some amazing poplin dresses that are extremely affordable. Also too, I think everyone has like a vast range of what affordable means. To me, affordable is if this is under $40. You know, we could, we could, depending on what it is, you could go up to like 40, 45, 50. But that's what I like to think of as something that's actually affordable. How I would typically style a solid poplin dress like this. We have this necktie. I'm obsessed with the necktie. You could pop this on, this necktie, or I most recently paired this dress with this little bubble necklace here. Kind of a jump scare to say the word bubble necklace. If you were alive and like dressing yourself, AKA you were a teenager in college, during the years of like 2010 to 2016, then hearing bubble necklace is actually probably the scariest thing. But we've evolved. We are now doing something much cooler. And I really love that this has that clear, but the hint of pink. So it does have that color, but it's not gonna over power something like this so for shoes i had a little bit of a silver shoe here i do highly suggest with dresses that you do invest in a good like mule and this just pairs really well together i love a good pointy mule with a dress you don't always have to be in heels but there's something about a pointy mule that really just kind of dresses up the vibe i most recently styled this dress i highly suggest washing your tennis shoes. Don't just put on tennis shoes and have them dirty and funky and weird. Like you need to have on your clean pair of tennis shoes with your dresses. I do love that look. I don't really think it's going out of style. I just think we kind of keep evolving what type of tennis shoes that we want to wear. These are Reeboks. Really cute, cool. They have the tan at the bottom, which I like. I'm touching the bottom of these because I just washed them, but I like the tan at the bottom because it does kind of hide that gross coloring. And then these do wash well. I just throw them into the washing machine and they came out perfectly clean and crisp and white. I'm getting off track, which I kind of will probably do that. We love the pink, but she is very pink. And I understand while pink might be my color, pink's not everyone's color. And if you are starting out to just entering into your dress era, your feminine era, there's nothing wrong with just simply having a soft solid black and white dress. Like that's easy. I told you in the beginning, if I see a puff sleeve, I'm buying it. Like no matter what, I'm probably just buying it because I love a good puff sleeve. I just think it's so feminine, so cute. As Jet would say, Pookie's Jet would say, the quintessential summer dress. She's originally from Zara. I did find this at 
labels here in Atlanta. They have actually a full just dress consignment store. I do have a few other pieces that I got from there. I want to show you guys. Originally, this was from Zara. So again, so that really affordable. It's that poplin material that makes it look so much more expensive than it really is. And it makes it last. So again, kind of going back to, I told you guys I like the maxi. I like the midi length. I'm five foot three, but I don't care if you're six foot four. A longer dress, I just really think looks better on you. Depending upon like what you're trying to do. You can't really go wrong, especially online, buying a mini or max length dress. It's always gonna look appropriate. You just can't go wrong with them. What I like about this too, is it has the knit, the knitting on there as well. So it kind of breaks up the full poplin, making it a little bit more versatile and a bit more unique. And it looks more expensive than it really was. Just popping into like, I don't know, your farmer's market or the grocery store, or even to church or work. A clean pair of sneakers, it really does help to make that look feel more every day and a bit more comfortable. That's the thing and the beauty behind a dress. Dresses are extremely comfortable. You're gonna feel comfortable in a dress. Whereas like jeans or you know other different types of pants, they might not be comfortable all day. But you can throw on a dress and look really well put together and you're comfortable. So that's why I like wearing dresses to work. Since this is white, we could pop on a pink pair of shoes. I know we're trying to get into the pink, okay? We're gonna try to get into the pink. The range of short can vary, and the way that dresses are made nowadays, it could just be a little too short for an everyday type of wear, and I'm someone who wants to be able to purchase something that I can wear to church, to work, to, you know, to brunch with my friends. Not every piece of garment does it need to fit every single part of your life, no but you do want to get the most out of your garment. This length here. So this length, let me scoot back. This length is gonna hit like right above my knee, but it's not like hitting up here. That's too much for me. This feels somewhat like a t-shirt, just like an oversized t-shirt. So if that's your vibe that you are moving and elevating from, I would highly suggest starting out with a shorter poplin t-shirt style dress. This is very comfortable, very easy to style. Again, going back to like your sneakers, you could throw on a colored pair of sneakers. On a chromatic, you could throw on these little cute studded mules. If I can find the photo that's been living rent free in my head, I will put it up here. You guys know I love a good cowboy boot. I'm wearing my cowboy boots now. Specifically this style of boot that's like wide calf for my wide calf girlies out there and it just sits up right. Surprisingly these came from Target. This dress is from Target. The boots are from Target. This is a vibe to me and then I would probably put on like the blue scarf because I can't stop wearing it and definitely just some like chunky funky jewelry. I think this is a perfect way to kind of enter in to your dress vibe without like going overboard and it's all black so that coloring kind of fits everyone's vibe. I understand everyone's not gonna be bright pink at first, okay? Now that we've covered poplin, let's get into the shorter dresses. What's professional when it comes to shorter dresses? As a cusp member of Gen Z, I love what Gen Z is doing in the workplace, do not get me wrong. However, when it comes to what's professional and what's not, that definitely depends on where you're working and what you're doing. Because if this is brunch, the shorter the better, do whatever you want. You're going out with your friends, do whatever you want. But when it comes to working or anywhere else that you're, you know, wanting to be a little bit more professional and or modest, you have to be a little bit pickier about your short dresses. First start with dresses that I do love, styles I'm loving. I probably just would not wear these not even probably, I know for sure I'm not wear these to work. If you follow me on Instagram and or TikTok, you've seen this dress, I love this dress. Someone commented and said, oh my gosh, this looks like a baby doll and that's exactly what I was going for because that is a vibe for me. But two reasons why I would not wear either of these dresses when I'm trying to be in a little bit more of a modest setting. Number one, she's pretty short. It looks a little bit longer, but it's really not, I promise you guys. And then this whole back is out. I'm not shaming this. She definitely has a time and a place. And what I would say she would have the most fun is definitely an outside concert, day drinking with her friends, hitting up brunch, somewhere like that. That's where she belongs. She's super cute, very summer, spring-like, lightweight linen. You could just literally bury me in a puff sleeve. I did pair this with my black cowboy boots. I just thought, oh, this was such a good fit. And then of course my trucker hat that I need more. Anyways, I don't wanna scare you. It's gonna be a little bit more niche. A good print can go a very long 
way. <laughs> I just have to say that. I love a good bold print. That is my vibe. This is me in a dress, quite literally. I would have more on the casual side. Now I know it's bold. I know it's a lot of color. You're probably thinking casual. Okay, no, it's casual in the sense of like things that really you wouldn't do professionally. A uh, V is a little bit lower if you're looking to be more modest. And it's not that it's like super short, but it is going to be like kind of creeping up once it's actually fitted on. There's nothing wrong with this dress. Like I'm obsessed with it. It's just a time and a place. Once you graduated from your solids, like this is where we're starting at, at a print maybe. Or maybe we'll, we'll stay with like this as your print to then graduate to this. You guessed it, a puff sleeve. Listen, at least I'm through and through who I am, okay? But I do love this dress very much. I think that you could, um, I'm, you could probably pass wearing this to work. I mean, it's not really short. You're covered here. There's not a low back or anything. It would really be up to you. My thought process when getting dressed for going into the office is will I be like sitting, as in like will I be sitting in a crowd of people to where I would need to cover myself? Thing goes for church. Of course, if you have a little sweater with you, you can drape it all over your legs. If you're really questioning it and you're not sure, that's why I have some midi to maxi length dresses that I do so that in case I run into that situation, I don't even have to think about it. I love, 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 love this dress for the summertime. It's super lightweight. The brand is mellow day i had some questions on instagram about it and i found it at marshall's i assume it's a nice dress i don't really know no i'm kidding i did find it on nordstrom too so i know that this is a more of an expensive dress i guess but i found it at marshall's so love this love the print now that i'm 27 i really don't prefer to have the girls saying hi to everyone i'm mostly going to opt for something that just has more coverage here i personally find myself to be more comfortable you can do whatever you want there's no shade no hate i support whatever anyone wants to wear i love this dress from walmart also this dress is from walmart don't sleep on walmart if you guys have been watching me then you know that is my favorite place i love walmart walmart online if you don't know let me quickly inform you that walmart does have a new in-house designer brandon maxwell and he is not playing around anywho scoop is my very 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 favorite brand at walmart this is free assembly affordable great quality clothing speaks music to my ears there is the v-neck so i do love like a white tee or like a white poplin colored shirt underneath to layer it make it a little bit more different but again that scoop brand 10 out of 10 very inexpensive love her moving into i'm obsessed with this print i saw this again back to labels they have a full dress store not only is it the short but you get a mix of both because it has that kind of diagonal look here i cannot wait to wear this to summer market you have the thicker straps too so even though it's sleeveless i find this to be still pretty appropriate for most corporate jobs see you thought we were done with puff sleeves but we're never done with puff sleeves i just had to show for people that don't want to wear puff sleeves something else to wear but this is the ultimate puff sleeve and oh my god i'm loving i'm loving the plaid here you don't want to have any worries and you're trying to do short this style is perfect this does have kind of more of like a straighter shape it's not going to be fitted me who is built up as a southern woman i personally do not like things super fitted in a professional setting or honestly even just like regular it's just like not my vibe no shade no hate i'm always going to opt for something that's a little bit more straighter that still gives that effect but there's not really hugging any of my curves. The coloring, this does fit very well for like a fall vibe, especially with like a tall boot, but it's summertime. I think I could easily pull this off. Probably still pairing back these silver shoes. I know it's kind of crazy. It's a little bit out there, but that's the whole point of you watching this video. We want to be out there. See here, I'm wearing two pieces from my closet, not just one. How to get the most out of your closet and that way you're wearing more than just 
one piece. I wore this to February market. I do live in Atlanta, so I could get away with wearing something like this in February. We're pulling back in that poplin. Guess where this dress is from? Forever 21. Does it look like it? Absolutely not because of that poplin material. Love a good midi. You guys know this at this point. Actually, probably on me, this is like a maxi. I layered it over this sheer little bodysuit I got from Misguided. Rest in peace, Misguided. I just popped it over with this dress. It looked very chic and cool and then I just paired like a chunky boot. I recently styled this outfit. So we have our denim shorter dress paired with the like Peter Pan collar Scandinavian Scandi girl themed kind of outfit here. Loving this collar. Of course, as a girl who loves a puff sleeve, who wouldn't love an oversized collar like this? It's super popular, these style tops right now. Super girly, very me. So like naturally I'm gonna gravitate to that. I don't know what part of this is gonna be my favorite. Maybe now the mini links because the these are speaking to me, but we're gonna take a step further. Not just mini links, but also a print. I am not afraid of a print, and neither are you guys apparently, because I did recently post in this dress and it's going viral on TikTok and Instagram, and the sweet owners messaged me. So I know that you guys are working, you're calling them, you're putting in your orders. So I'm so happy to hear that. I love nothing more than supporting a small business. So uh, I will just insert right here if you guys want to reach out to them. Colors, the print, everything about it, the length, the sleeves, literally everything about it. This is a dress. Why be boring if you could be bold? And someone commented that like you should always be bold because people are going to remember, oh my gosh, that's a girl wearing the tiger hot pink dress. Duh, don't you want to be remembered? And let me... I get a little, I get a little excited because this is actually probably my favorite. Animal print with a twist. Lion, tigers, and bears, I guess, are what's it for the season right now. Love it. I have no complaints. I'm obsessed with the prints. Definitely don't be scared of a good, bold print. Let's move into the short sleeves. Okay, so short sleeves here. I know it's loud. I know it's a lot. But you know what? You'll always be remembered. And that's really all it's about. And with these two, these short dresses, it's very easy to dress these up. Now, for Easter, I wore this dress. Pairing back to the nude heel. With the prints, I do suggest a solid shoe. I mean, you can get crazy and wear, you know, a pattern, but just make sure it all kind of flows together. That way your dress kind of is that main focal point. You wanna be extra bold, I'm absolutely here for it. You guys know I would pop a colorful shoe as well. Sometimes the obvious choice would be like a pink, but you could even pop in like the lower colors. So like maybe a green with this or a royal blue with this too. I would do both. For my girls who don't want to go full print quite yet, we're not going to do super basic, but we're going to ease into it. I would do something kind of this like gingham style. This does ease you into a print, but it's not overwhelming. How would I personally style this to dress it up? I would definitely put on a pop of pink. I think this would be such a fun look, easy for summer, because it does have that kind of ruching. It will be a little bit more fitted, similar to, of course, the same type of pattern, but similar to this, to where it's gonna fit you, but it's not gonna be like a bodycon dress. We are past that, okay, okay. Honorary mention, I love this dress. I've had this dress for years. Wear it whenever I literally can. It's so a good dress. I think a way to kind of ease into that pattern is a two-tone dress. Now, I know that this is hot pink and light pink and like you are going to be stopping people on the sidewalk, but again, isn't that why we're friends now? We want to be stopped on the street. Hello, duh. That's why you get dressed in the morning and that's why you have fun with your fashion. This was very inexpensive. It was from Target. It looks much more expensive than it really is. Actually, I was at a fashion show and someone asked me if this was Vivian Westwood and I was like, no, it's Target. That's the kind of vibe that we're going for. Most recently, back again, <laughs> wore my silver shoes. Stick with your solid shoes. Your solid shoes aren't ever gonna do you wrong. I have to watch this back to see if I even mention the dress I'm wearing today. But we have that solid here. And then when you're wearing your solid, I like to always pair something with pattern for my accessory to kind of break up the solid. And then of course my jewelry I love. Um, but I'm into my mixed metal jewelry so it's not just everything's the same. Spice it up even more. I did the metallic boots, but this dress is from Walmart. Love her, has that cinched belt, has the pockets. 
I believe all of the dresses I showed have pockets because that's an absolute must. You can't go wrong with a pointed mule. They're flat, they're easy to wear to work, easy to walk around in, but they give you a little bit more of an elevated look. You are gonna wear sneakers, wash them, make sure that they're clean and crisp and white. A solid boot or a metallic. Last but not least, a good chunky heel. I personally like chunky heels because they're much more comfortable than like a skinny little heel. Not my vibe, it will not catch me in that. One with some color and then a nude. These both are on MRH Lifestyle. Snaps for the very first styling session. I hope you all had as much fun as I did so that I know what you guys are shopping for. Would you rather answer that through like an Instagram poll or on my website? I just wanna know what you guys are shopping for so that way I can kind of curate the styling sessions for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!